Seems like State wanted something looked at there. Yeah. Can't really tell what's going on there, unfortunately. Sorry we didn't have more to say on that. <laughs> Maffrey Ellis bringing the ball up here. Myers popping up from three. He lands it. That's what I'm talking about, Myers. <laughs> <laughs> He's been draining those all game long. Right. Driving through there. Defense up. Mack with a beautiful shot. Got his man up in the air with the pump fake. Central with the shot. They're pulling up for three a lot of the time, and they're not getting a lot of those to fall. At what point do you think they have to start looking for other shots? When they see that the threes aren't working, I feel like <laughs> Central definitely has to start driving in the paint. And, uh, you know, layups are good, too. Don't, you don't always have to shoot three all the time. Three threes every second. Oh. Man and lost out there in tradi I transition. I spoke in existence. <laughs> Layups. No, good job there by finding the man open. Yeah, that's, all, yeah all, that's another thing, too. You have to find a good open man. I mean, but State's defense is amazing. So it's up. Oh, hit him with a little tossy turvy and shot by number 15 from Central. And State built an early lead, but they can't get sloppy here. Right. You cannot, like I said earlier, you can't give them the opportunity because they're going to take it. Mm. And they had, several, they had several quick turnovers right there. And those turned into very easy points for this Central team. And as we saw, Central is capable of beating these teams. I oh, mean, they're in the championship. Sure. They definitely, so. yeah. Now, of course, Team Wolf trying to win this thing on their own home court. Myers should have. Missed layup opportunity there. Good defense there by Central. Oh. Physical play there. Looks like it got a little too physical down there, honestly. Yeah. Kind of leapt at him. Player, but th I think both teams recognize, though, that <laughs> really both teams are just trying to win this. Get anything they can. Understandable. Oh. The pack looks unaccustomed to the zone defense that they've switched to here. Mm -hmm. More comfortable in their man that they had in the previous games with the Euro step oh. there. Land it. Beautiful Euro step there by Matt Staniland. Yeah, the zone defense here with their three wings out there and their two bigger players down there in the post. Central kind of slowing it down, and it looks like they have a little bit more of a method to their madness this time around. Deep three-pointer off the front of the rim. Want to get a better look than that, I feel. Yeah. Quick pass oh. to Myers. Myers just couldn't handle the hot pass there. They gave them the opportunity, and they fall through with it. <laughs> No. I mean, honestly, this, I feel like this is what this game is going to come down to. Now, State has got to reduce the amount of turnovers that they have here. Myers drawing the foul there, going to get a trip to the free throw line for two. Now, and free throws, so important last game. North Carolina falling because of it. How important do you think that's going to come up in this game? Um, extremely <laughs> important. Same thing as the last game. I mean, yeah. as we see that Central's taking every opening, every opportunity to, you know, get their points up. So I feel like whenever State has the opportunity to shoot up some free throws, they need to take advantage of that and they need to make everyone because that, it counts. It adds up. I mean, Central sees that and they're going to see every opportunity that they can. Myers missing that first one, but draining the second. And I'm interested in the fact that they have switched to a zone defense, especially with the success they've had with their man defense earlier in this game. Zone defense looks a little bit weaker here. Losing a man in transition right there when they have to switch from zone to zone. Central slow to get back. So far, the game is pretty close with a score of 21 to 16. Even though we're up, I mean, Central still has some time to catch 
catch up or even take the lead. So, oh. Malloy looking for a foul there on that last possession before Central came down with the missed shot. Malloy with the ball again, driving to the hoop. Loses the ball, can't have mistakes like that. That opportunity window was open. And what did Central do? Take it. Oh. Molloy losing the ball yet again. Gotta got a little bit of a case of Butterfingers right there, but yeah, like you mentioned, just got to shake that one off. <laughs> got to shake it off. Uh, two quick turnovers here. Got to toast them Butterfingers. <laughs> <laughs> just had to say it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Absolutely understandable. <laughs> Both teams doing a good job thus far. Feel like this is going to be a close one throughout. Freeing himself up with the pump fake. Strong drive to the rim, but just unable to convert there. Great block there. The smaller Ella is just doing a great job of getting that opportunity before. Hear the chatter between the coach and Central mm -hmm. players right here. Central's coach seems to be a little bit more vocal out here. For sure. He's probably mad because the offensive side of Central's team isn't really, you know, putting up as they should. I guess he's a little frustrated about that. But, mm -hmm. I mean, but there's... Some banter between coaches right there. Yeah. Beautiful passing right there. Short three shot. I think I think the coach agrees with me. <laughs> Lay off threes a little bit. Let's see about driving in. No, he wants his team to get those better opportunities, but right. has to be happy with the turnovers they're forcing oh, though, yeah. on the defensive side. For sure. Good, great defense coming from both sides. Yeah, you hear him talking to his players during this brief little intermission right here, telling them to hold off on the threes. <laughs> Looks like that's going to be a push call on red zero as the ref calls it right there. NC State playing in black jerseys up until this point, switching out to their white unis for this game. Have to imagine that might be the fact that these might be Central's only jerseys. Malloy again, the ball just slipping out of his hands. At what point, as a coach, do you think that you really got to sit him down and just give him a second to cool his head? When, I guess, the transitioning gets a little sloppy. I mean, yeah. you're not making the shots. Defense is off. I mean, it's sometimes you just have to take that responsibility as a coach to be like, hey. Or the defense isn't doing enough, as we just saw Ellis make that shot for Team Wolf. But as I was saying earlier, I feel like Central's coach probably in the next couple minutes might call a timeout. Yeah. I mean, they look a little discombobulated, as I should say. But, oh, let's see. It's going to be a foul there. Oh, yeah. Contact on the shot. Number 40 for Central going to the line here for two. All right, these free throws are crucial. No, Meyer's doing a great job in the lane there, though, with that exquisite block on the last defensive possession. Okay. Central making the most of these free throw opportunities. It looks like Central is not going to focus on rebounding on the offensive side of this. Mm -mm. Maybe a little faith in their player to make those. He seems rather automatic, right. draining those directly <laughs> through the net. We've got Mack bringing the ball up right here. Theo Mack done a great job throughout this tournament. Gets the ball there to Zach Prevet. Haven't seen much of Zach this tournament. Me either, honestly. Well, actually, he's probably been like one of those quiet players that has proven themselves but just doesn't really put the shots up, like, you know, scoring points. That thing probably is a great defender, though. All of Team Wolf having a 
great impact on this defense. Unfortunately, giving up the layup right there. Too many opportunities in the lane. One of the weaknesses of the zone is if they can find that opening, they can really make you pay with the layups. Ellis yet again with another three. Ellis has also been a <laughs> integral a, part of this team. Right. Like he's done extremely well, especially from the games yesterday. I recall watching him just shooting them points up. He was not letting up. He was very passionate about the game. And um, it's showing. I mean, you see a lot of team. I feel like everyone from Team Wolf is a team leader in their own way. So Absolutely. And you've got a couple seniors here on this roster. Theo Mack and Matt Hartle, both seniors. Mm -hmm. And joined by uh, Tommy Coasters, actually. So three of the glue guys that have really been making an impact on the defensive side of the ball, while also helping on offense. Again, coming back to that versatility we yeah. keep mentioning. You know, and injuries piling up for Team Wolf, honestly. They've got three thus far. Drew Harbor out with a concussion. While TJ Minitola has a sprained ankle. And John Taylor has an ACL tear. So wow. definitely a little shorthanded, but Definitely, they seem to be doing all right. I hope for a speedy recovery from that. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. The most I've ever done was, like, sprain a finger, and that was, like, the end of the world for me. So yeah. <laughs> I can only imagine with these more severe injuries. Exactly. I ran track, so the contacts ah. were... <laughs> I didn't have to worry about too much. <laughs> Good second and third effort there on, by Central there. Just finding their opportunities. Cam Wimbish trying to find something that he can do there. Going to give it to Ethan Malloy right there who tries to and finally get something to go. Good job there. Ooh. Matt Stanilan doing fantastic work there. Defense. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get it. Being very persistent. Not, not, I feel like they noticed that they were giving Central a little bit too much opportunity windows so they're like yeah it's time to get it together looks like that foul is going to be on matt staniland there a little bit too much contact on the shot great rebounding by the uh unmarked central player <laughs> looks like they're going to call a hold there on matt staniland two quick fouls for staniland don't want to get in too much trouble here in terms of fouls ellis with a fantastic steal on the inbound pass Gives that back to Cam Wimbish, who loses track of the ball. Too many turnovers for this pack team. Oh! A little bit of a chop from behind from Malloy there. Ref's not calling it. Malloy looking for somebody. Finds Staniland. Missing on the three, but Myers is there for the rebound. Fantastic job in the post there from Myers, as he's been all tournament. He's just been so reliable down there, both rebounding and scoring out of the post. Central trying to find the range from three-pointer. Unable to find it thus far this game. Staniland with some fantastic dribble moves there. Frees up the open three-pointer. Just Cam Wimblish just can't drain that. <laughs> I'm really impressed there. Malloy with the fantastic dribble move. Pulling up from three again. Central just can't find the range. But it looks like that's going to be the end of the first half here. Wow. With a score of 33 to 26, I'm extremely excited to see how this game is going to turn out. I mean, it's close. They're, both teams are extremely competitive, so it's going to be something to look forward to. Now, Team Wolf looking to protect this lead. We'll be back for the second half after this. Welcome back to Carmichael Gymnasium here for the Battle at the Brickyard. Fantastic game we're seeing here, the truly fitting of the championship as we've got a 33 to 26 game. Team Wolf up ahead. What did you notice from that first half? What gave them this opportunity to have this lead? Well, I mean, Team Wolf's defense is definitely a force to be reckoned with. I mean, Central kind of sees the groove that Team Wolf is trying to play here, but also Central is looking for any opportunity window to post up the shots, you know, make great plays. So. Honestly, both teams are playing extremely well today. It's been a great time to watch, honestly. I'm very <laughs> looking forward to the second half. No, it's been a very enjoyable game. Both sides playing very hard. The defense, especially as you mentioned, both teams playing fantastic defense. Central with their just 
constant steals. And the pack switching up to zone defense, but still having an impact. Uh, totally. But one thing I may have to say, Team Wolf might have to clean up those turnovers. Yes, very much so. Central is taking those and turning them into three-pointers, layups, and anything else that will put up points. So I feel like NC State definitely, definitely needs to clean up their offense and defense a little bit. But mm -hmm. honestly, their defense is their strongest point. Well, their strongest, strongest pro of their team. <laughs> yeah, very much so. <laughs> Well, we'll be back and see if we can clean those changes up in this second half. Welcome back to Carmichael Gymnasium. For this second half Battle of the Brickyard Championship, I'm Logan Ward, joined by... Michaela Green. And we are out here to watch this very exciting ending. Defense has been the tail of the match so far, really, but, you know, anything can change, and definitely both teams looking to make halftime adjustments with those quick five minutes. Those five minutes go by fast, so these teams have to make their adjustments as quick as they can. That is right. They got to get it together in a short period of time because it is crunch time now. It's the second half of the championship game. No, and Team Wolf with a fantastic presence on the boards oh. and Myers. Points will not count, says the ref. Looks like the foul was going to be before the shot. Ball's going to stay with Team Wolf, though, as Matt Staniland looks to inbound it. Max Myers, who's been a fantastic presence on this Team Wolf team. Staniland taking the three and draining it. Beautiful shot. Something that was very much needed for <laughs> Team Wolf to get that, you know, a little bit extra of a lead against the, the Eagles today. Most certainly, and that brings that lead up to double digits right there. Always welcome. There's the one weakness of this zone defense that has really been showing, showing through. Gave him that window and they took that opportunity. Absolutely, and these layups have just been coming early and often for this Eagles team. Team Wolf trying to shore up their defense, but really their switch to zone defense has not helped them. Although their offense has more than made up for it. Matt Staniland yet again with the layup. Going to be a shot from the free throw line, number 47 of Central. Apologies for not having their names, but seeing as how the majority of them don't have jerseys. They have jerseys. Just well, they have <laughs> jerseys, but... <laughs> mm, yeah, we don't have the name to match the jersey as yeah. of now, but we're doing our best Absolutely. for our viewers. Oh. Looks like he's going to draw the foul. Looks like he flopped there a little bit, but, you know, going to draw the charge. Referee going to call that, and the ball is going to be going Central's way. Now, and flopping usually, sort, usually associated with the sport of soccer. You hear about flopping in soccer all the time. Still a very prominent part of basketball, too, as the attempted Euro step does not fall there. Stanley quickly drives up the court. Quick layup. Looks like he got hit in the eye, though. Looking for the foul. Not going to get it. Central tries for a quick turnaround. Staniland with a vengeance. Just tearing back down the oh, court. Another Euro, Euro step. step. Lands it. Okay. Central going to go with a quick timeout there. I They've like, seen enough of Staniland. Right. That definitely <laughs> boosted up the energy a little bit. Most certainly. All right. Central is like, all right. <laughs> Let's regroup. Let's see if they can even be a competitor at this point. I mean, we have a pretty good lead right now. Mm -hmm. Momentum most certainly has shifted in favor of Team Wolf. If there was any question, they have asserted their dominance coming out of the break here. And these seniors on this team, you know, Battle of the Brickyard, how important do you think winning this would be to these seniors, winning their last chance to win this game? Oh, my gosh. I could <laughs> That's just, it's just great. I mean, I know, like I mentioned before, I ran track. I mean, the last meet or the last, I don't know, game, whatever sport you play or yeah. anything that you're interested in or have a love for, I mean, it's very important. You want to go out with a bang. So you want to play with your last bit of energy. You want to go all out and, you know, just don't let up. Give it your all out here. And I feel like that's what these seniors are doing today. Yeah, leave it all on the, leave it all on the court. Right. Physical play down there in the post. Central comes away with the offensive rebound. 
Number three drains the open three-pointer. No Wolfpack member in sight. Senior Mack bringing the ball up the court. His leadership has definitely been noted today. He drives, but it just barely rims out. Good idea there, right. just couldn't get it to fall. Matt Hartle defending in there. Yeah, that's gonna be on Afrony Ellis. Got boxed out by the bigger man. Rather take the foul and hope that they miss free throws. Mm, right. Let's see if they are going to miss them or make them. I mean, these are <laughs> crucial. And fortunately, number 46 for Central misses the first free throw. Now okay. You know that they would wish that he could have drained both right. of these. We mentioned this earlier in the um, beginning of the game. These really add up, especially the ones you don't make. Mm. Oh, some contact here. Can't see what the foul is going to be, but it looks like Central is going to retain possession here. Looks like the referee telling them to keep the clock running. As is one of the rules here in club basketball. Keep that clock running. Oh, with the one-hander, okay. Little bit of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with the sky hook there. Right. Good job by Hartle, feeling it out. Trying to find an open three-pointer, not able to find it there. Pick and roll, run by Myers. Finds Ellis. Really, this is the big five, the five players that really have stood out the most to me on this Team Wolf team, though. Oh, for sure. For sure. Looks like they're gonna call a little bit of a grab there on number 47 of Central. Sandy prevented. Stanland from getting to the ball there. Of course, you know the central player going to contest that, but. <laughs> right. <laughs> finds Myers. Myers a lethal threat from either the post or three point range. Can drive into the post. Not able to convert, but he oh. viciously grabs that rebound and he puts it back up. Wow. The bench is making a lot of noise from <laughs> Team Wolf. That's amazing. It's always good to have support from not only on the court but off the court as well I mean the bench gives the energy that you need to keep you know keep that momentum going absolutely well, I think it's safe to say that Max Myers might have a double double in every game he's played today absolutely gobbling up rebounds number 40 for Central trying to make something happen Ooh. number three gets a three to fall Looks like his range is most certainly his number. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely joke. There. Looks like that. <laughs> thank, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Be here for uh, the rest of this half. Right. <laughs> Looks like they're going to call foul on number 40 of Central there. Got some summoning going on. Giving everyone a chance to post up. Looks on like the there court. are only four. Uh, Team Wolf players out there, though. Oh. oh, nope. There's Ellis on the side. Yes. Apologies, missed him out there. <laughs> Hard to miss him, though. He's had a great impact for this oh. Team Wolf team. Been everywhere for them on defense and offense. Speaking of which, Mac driving in and just getting that layup. Nailed it. <laughs> Forcing that one in there. Oh. Three pointer drained by number 12 for Central. Speaking of which, number 12 for the Team Wolf. Matt Hartle trying to make something happen here. Finds Mac in the corner. Dribbling it out. Finds Malloy. Malloy having trouble with his ball security early in this game. That's going to be a hard foul, though. Malloy did a good job of shaking his defender, though, and making that opportunity happen. So these free throws, as we mentioned, have been very important. Malloy trying to hold off there, but the ref just going mm -hmm. ahead and passing it to him. Right. Drains the first one. Malloy sizing up for the second. Drains both of them. Dribbling up right here, number three passes number 20 for Central. 
Central trying to make something happen here. Number 12 driving in, passes back out to 20. Calling for the pick and roll. They've got a double pick here. Hartle reads it though and pesters the ball handler for Central. 15 drives through though. Draws the foul on Hartle though. All right. I mean, NC State sure does have the lead, but I feel like if Central puts up enough points, they definitely could be, you know, it could be close. I feel like it could be close. But oh. if <laughs> NC State keeps his momentum going, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the score actually feels like it's closer than it might actually right. be. Right, oh. Unfortunately, we can't see the scoreboard <laughs> as efficiently as everyone else, but I'm pretty sure we have a, a huge lead right now. Score being relayed to us by our wonderful director here. Right. Shout out to Kayla. We have <laughs> a nine point lead now. Hartle shakes him oh. with the pump fake. Ah, Tommy Coaster is just barely not able to get that to go. Oh. Fantastic steal there. Malloy picking up his game on both ends of the ball this half. Malloy looking like a different player than he did in that first half. Going to draw that foul as both players came down hard on him there in the post. So Malloy's going to have another two shots. He drained his earlier two this half. Makes that three for three of this half. Now, and really have to imagine that the impact of these free throws was felt by this Team Wolf when they beat North Carolina, mainly because of it. For sure. I mean, the Tar Heels definitely had a chance, but it was just the lack of following through with them three free throws, excuse me, but I mean, they took advantage of that, came out on top, now it looks like they're coming out on top with this game against Central. Central putting up a good fight, though. Oh, yeah. Definitely talented players on both sides of this team. Oh, yeah, they came to play. Great job by Hartle, just knifing through the lane. Number 15 for Central, bringing the ball up the court. Fakes the pick and roll. Knife's through, almost gets it, ball just kind of rims out. You know, there are those shots where it really just is a bad bounce and there's nothing you can really do about that as oh. Matt finds the rim. Easy layup there. I say easy, but he had heavily contested. He made it look easy though. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> oh. Missed layup there. And that's gonna be a foul. A little bit of an embellishment there on the uh, flop, but you know. Oh. Whatever gets you the foul. Whatever gets you the foul, hey, whatever floats your boat. Because <laughs> they need these free throws. <laughs> they need to start hitting them, too. Yeah. Especially with Malloy hitting all four of his recently. Oh, and he did just that. First one goes in through. Looks like the pack have a player who... Oh, they're going to pull Ellis off the court, though. Coach talking to Myers over here. Oh, he lands the second one. Now, and free throw is so important here. Every opportunity matters mm -hmm. in this game. Especially in a game where anything can happen in such a quick amount of time. For sure. Staniland, open three, not able to hit it, but he gets his own rebound. Finds Malloy there. Malloy finds Mac. Malloy to Mac to Myers. Myers gets hit in the eye, though. Seen a couple of those, actually. Staniland got hit in the eye earlier. Got a couple of errant hands flying around mm. out here. Yeah. Arms going all over the place. Knocking people out left and right. <laughs> Can't have that. Physical play here by Central. Got chopped across the arm. No call by the refs there, though. Coach for Team Wolf looking for something, though. Oh. 
Coasters had the pa had the pass right there. Tried to go up with it, but was blocked. Admittedly, didn't really see the foul there, but little too much contact, I assume. Right. Now, the physicality is such an important part of the game. What does that really add to your defense if you can be physical while you're defending? Oh, it's everything. <laughs> like being, and that's the whole point of defense. Mm -hmm. You have to be physical. You can't have the other team break through your wall. Otherwise, that gives them an opportunity to make some shots. So, I'm not too physical. You know, I'm not trying to have everyone fight out here, but <laughs> it's good to get a little rough. You know, you don't want the team to walk through you and your your homeboys. You want to. <laughs> Show them that you're tough and you came to play. So, I mean, you have to be physical in a contact sport, especially. Mm. Basketball so often kind of disregarded as a contact sport, right. but it really is. Nah, everyone likes to say that basketball is not as tough. No, basketball, it's a difficult sport for one. And two, it, it's extremely tough. And there's obviously a lot of contact going on here. And people can easily get hurt just as much as you can get hurt in football. So it's like... You know, I feel like basketball is just as, it could be just as rough. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you see these two players battling down in the paint, Myers and the player without a jersey for Central. Both yeah. of them just every time down the court, you see them basically on each other. Right. Oh, it's getting serious. Oh. Uh-oh. This is not soccer. Confused as to what the thought process was there. Uh, <laughs> Technical foul here. Yeah, he kicks the basketball. Oh, he says he I was trying. Read, to <laughs> I can read lips a little bit. He says he didn't kick it; just bounced, bounced off his foot. But I think he was trying to like kick it up to yeah. him, and it just kicked bounced off his foot the wrong way. Yeah, someone's grandma, but it's, it's fine. But you can't, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that, unfortunately. <laughs> Misses the technical free throw. Oh, I'm going to get a second opportunity here, though. Staniland here. And, of course, after the technical, Team Wolf will be awarded possession as well. Missing both of the technical free throws. Staniland going to regret that. Staniland basically kick-starting this Team Wolf offense early in the second half. Had those couple quick layups. Especially the one after getting hit in the eye. He really just yeah. came at them with a vengeance. Right. He shook that off quick. Oh, number 31 lost the ball a little bit. Well, a lot of it because it's now in <laughs> Central's possession. Central just trying to find something that works right here. 42 shakes his way free. There's the physicality of Myers wow. in that... I really wish I had a name or a number to put to him, but the unnamed player for Central. <laughs> but both of them done a fantastic job cleaning the boards here. Oh, yeah, for sure. Every rebound, every post play that they get, they're making the most of it. Physical play. Kind of seeing Central turn up the heat a little bit as... Staniland gets his defender airborne. He's going to line for two more free throws here. Let's see if he can convert these. Right. I think he also got hit in the eye as well. But we'll see if he'll shake it off and make these free throws. Makes his first one. Yeah, we have... Ellis and Hartle coming in for Coasters and Mac. How important is it having all these players that you can trust, really, to just come in and do their part? Not only is it extremely beneficial to have players mm -hmm. on your team that you could trust, it also gives you a chance to have a little break, you know, in between. Because if you play for 40 minutes straight, I reckon you're going to get a little, you know, a little out of breath, a little tired. It's always good to regain some energy throughout games like this, especially at the championship match so it's always good to know that not only are your starting five is your starting five good but your bench mm -hmm. is well enough to 
you know, be swapped in and out and play efficiently and be, you know, a good competition either way, no matter what player you have on the court. Yeah, it looks like Staniland is actually going to leave the game here. That eye oh. bothering him too much to attempt his second free throw. Coasters comes in and hits the second one, though. Believe that means that um, Staniland cannot return to the game, though, if he cannot finish his free throws. 15 just shot a three, I believe. Well, he definitely played his part, though, especially in this game and the previous game. His, his presence has been felt as they find Myers open. Great deflection there by number 20 for the central team. Number 15 draws him. Oh, he's a hard fall. Hope he's okay. It's like they're going to call a travel on state and award possession to the central. Little confused about that possession there. Yeah. A lot happened, and I. Oh, it seems like number seven is back. He has. Stanland has returned, but holding something over his eye there. Hope that he is okay down there. Oh wow! Despite the challenge from Coasters, number fifteen for Central just manages to get that through. Hartle to Malloy. Hartle with the ball again, looking for someone to find. Drives himself, finds Coasters, who finds. Myers, good defense by Central, though. Blocks it out of bounds. You know, the battle of the bigs has been huge in this battle of the brickyard. Oh, yeah. The biggest players often having the biggest impact. Don't sleep on the bigs. <laughs> yeah, I see a little bit of jawing between Myers and lack of jersey player. <laughs> We've got Mac here. Gets the screen from Myers. Mac unable to convert, unfortunately, on a great move to get to the basket. 42, open for three. Hits that. Fantastic shot. Central is extremely unhappy about that call. Looks like I got another... Technical foul for taunting on this central team. With a minute and 51 seconds left, the score is 60 to 55. It's really getting down to the last couple of seconds of the game. So, up. Oh. 61 here as 61. they hit that one free throw here. Um, Central's definitely realizing that they have to uh, give it all they got in these last minutes of the game. Myers missing that second free throw. Coach telling his players to just kind of quiet down out there, not get another technical for talking too much. Just, you just got to play the game. Looks like we got a timeout called here by Team Wolf. Central trying to gather together and get themselves hyped back up. All they really do, well, all they really need to do is just stay focused in the, this last minute. Because they ha definitely have a chance. It's Most close. It's not even like they definitely caught up from that huge, like, 10-point deficit from earlier. So no, I, I still feel like they have a chance. Oh, most certainly. A 10-point deficit in basketball is nothing. As not they've all. shown, it's only a six-point deficit for Central right now. Team Wolf going to try to preserve that lead. Their defense has been making plays all night. like Central is going to gather here with their team. They definitely needed a woosa moment, as I like to call it. Just a breather, slow things down a bit. Look like they're trying to match back up. Hartle found as the open man. Staniland driving to the hoop, stolen by 15, though. Staniland returning to the game. Shot blocked by number one, Anthony Ellis. He's been all over the court today. Oh, yeah. Extremely versatile player. Coasters matched up against 15.
Coaster's going to be called for the foul there. Made contact on the shot. 15 going to try to give his team something to cheer about here. Drains his first one. No problems there. Right. Very much need a point. Misses the second, though. That could come back to bite them. For sure. Stanley gets the ball poked away, but Mack is there to recover. Finds Hartle. Finds Ellis in the corner. Stanley. Ball barely rims out, almost have the end one opportunity. Instead, he'll go to the line for two. Been calling Stanley's name a lot this game. Oh, yeah. No matter what injury he had, it <laughs> definitely didn't bother him <laughs> to the point where he was incapable of, you know, posting up some shots. As you can see here, he just made his first free throw. You see Mack in the backcourt preventing any quick outburst mm -hmm. Central can have. Drains the second one, too. Hartle pestering the ball away. Number 15 for Central. Looks like they're going to call Hartle for a block there. Central going to get an opportunity here, try to close this gap even further. Staniland with the hustle play. Looks like he ran into the... Ooh. I hate to see that. It landed right with his back on it, too. Yeah. He shook it off, though. Looks like well. he has a little bit of a limp <laughs> there. He just wants to stay out there. Yeah. You don't want to finish this game on the bench. He right. wants to be trusted. To the last second. Oh, number, number 15 going to have an opportunity for three free throws there. State contesting the call here and mimicking the motion yeah, that the number saying, 15 took. That's just how he shot. <laughs> but ref's not hearing it because he's already about to shoot his first three. Now. Makes his first Makes one. It. No, and having these cha this chance for three free throws instead of the usual two, very pressure. important. Gonna drain a second as well. Looks like they have sat Myers right now. Interesting decision right here down the stretch. The waning moments of this game. Let's see if he lands this last free throw. The pressure is on. Uh -oh. He manages to go three for three. Hartle trying to find a way past. Finds Coasters. Mac. Okay. Mac manages to drive through. Increase this lead to 65 to 59 with about a minute remaining here. Number 15 trying to make something happen, just glances off the front of the rim. Looks like Central is going to start intentionally fouling here, trying to send them to the free throw line and make them miss. Mm -hmm. State has not been especially consistent with their free throws here today, though. That is right. Even Bill. with that um, tech from earlier, mm -hmm. um, number seven missed all of the free throw opportunities. But Central has definitely, you know, proven that slow and steady. If you take a couple breathings, you'll make the free throws. <laughs> but it's just <laughs> they've definitely shown that they are the better team with that aspect per se. But number eleven, Mac doing a great job here. Definitely showing out senior point guard here. Mm -hmm. Well. Looks like they're going to call that ball. one. <laughs> Central going to try to make the most of these opportunities right here. Going to the... Going to the line here, one for one. The one for one in basketball. 
you make the first one, you get to try another one, but if you miss, it's free. <laughs> but um. <laughs> no, but ever important, these free throws coming down to the wire. Wow. State does not want to foul here. Unfortunately, forcing themselves to as we get another intentional foul by number 15. Looks like that wasn't intentional, but mm -hmm. <laughs> essentially what it turns out to be is Ellis looks to add, to tack on two more points here. Mm -hmm. Final closing moments of this game. Coming down the wire, Ellis can't hit the first one. Central stuffing the box there, trying to get this rebound no matter what. Stanilan and Hartle there. As Ellis drains a second. Another call. Looks like they're going to call Ellis on a block there. Ellis is extremely unhappy about that. Can't see how you can. Right. I mean, like, I don't blame him. No, that was... <laughs> Questionable call the best. Right. Another one and one here. 42 going to try to make this first one so he has another shot. Missing on that. Find Staniland. Don't see what happened there. That was a kicked ball. Missed yet another missed call. Believe number 15 inflicted that. Oh. Central, posting up. 15 There's 15 seconds left on the clock. With a score of 67 and 63, crunch time. No, and we've come to the point where it's basically just fouling back and forth. Yeah. However unintentional it is for State, they've certainly given up too many fouls in these last couple moments. Stanilan being sent to the line for two here. Misses the first one. This is what Central's hoping for with these fouls. Right. Rather than give up a shot, they want these guys to only make one or preferably zero free throws here. Stanilad manages to make one. Now. Yet another foul. <laughs> this time on Matt Hartle. Can't tell if it was intentional or not, honestly. Unsure why you would foul at this juncture. Right. Looks like Ethan Malloy is going to be checking back in, though. That might have been the intention here. Managed to get Ethan back on the court. Right. The jack of all trades sophomore who plays all positions as he's listed here. <laughs> that is the case. Hartle fouls, sending Ethan Malloy back into the game. Malloy picking up his game in the second half. Extremely surprised that they don't have Myers back out there. We got a timeout called here by this North Carolina Central team. So with these final seconds, these final seconds can feel like absolute minutes, really. Yeah. <laughs> it takes forever for these final minutes with the fouling back and forth. It stalls time, but at the same time, it just, you know, mm. it's good to, you know, drag it out a little bit. <laughs> try to see as many points as you can. Oh, yeah. Up. Well, and these players don't want to let this go easily, yeah. especially Central looking to get any advantage they can. Right. This game isn't over yet. It's been a tight game, honestly. Mm -hmm. I understand if it was like a blowout or something to just say whatever. No, and as we've, <laughs> as we've seen, teams have just dribbled out the clock. Yeah. Not the case this game. Oh, no. They're going hard until the last second. Too much on the line in this. Right. Because we've got the trophy sitting over here on the possession table, actually. Uh -oh. Couple seconds. We'll see who's the winner. It's dun, dun, dun. Been a spectacular battle of the Brickyard. <laughs> I've enjoyed every game. Right. It's been a pleasure to be able to be here and see 
all these players have a great heart and, you know, determination to play the sport they love. So it's just been a great joy. Possession arrow going to grant possession back to the Team Wolf. Trying to just get an inbound at this point. Manages to find Ellis. Yet another intentional foul. <laughs> Going to be a hold on the central player. Number 15. As Ellis steps to the line for two more free throws here. Looks like number 15 is going to come out and number one checks back in. And for Nia Ellis. Misses the first one. Not what you want to see if you're a Team Wolf member. Mm -hmm. You just want these this time to run out so that you get this one. Final shot here for Ellis. Makes the second one. Tries for three. Oh. And tries for the putback. But this game is over, and it looks like we have our winners of the battle at the Brickyard with a score of 69-64. to 64, NC State over Central. Team Wolf has won the battle at the Brickyard. How big is this for this team? Um, It's pretty big. They get to... <laughs> bring home well I guess they're already home but they <laughs> get to receive that wonderful trophy that is sitting at the scoreboard table I mean both teams mm -hmm. played extremely well all the teams we've seen this weekend have played well yeah it's been a great joy watching this yeah it's been really enjoyable and I guess that's it for us checking out here at Carmichael Gymnasium I'm Ben Logan Ward I'm Michaela Green this is PAC TV signing out Welcome back to Carmichael Gymnasium. As we wrap up here, the trophy being taken home by Team Wolf, beating NC Central, the score of 69 to 64. What'd you see out there today, McKenna? I saw some heart. I saw, <laughs> I mean, both teams played extremely well, but Team Wolf really came out on top for each game we saw them play, but definitely yeah. this one, a lot of the maybe more quiet players show that they wanted this just as bad as anyone else. So, and I mean, that effort really, showed and they definitely won the they deserved it they earned the trophy that they won just now <laughs> <laughs> most certainly no and players with the seniors like mac who did so well in this final game and his final showing out here in the battle of the brickyard that means so much to these seniors to come home with the trophy well come home as in being home in the first place but to win this trophy it means a lot to the team the offense and defense they played with a lot of heart like you said it's a really meaningful victory. I mean, what what do you think's next, really, for this club team? They've got a lot of young players. They Oh, they do. I feel like this is going to be a continuous thing <laughs> in the Carmichael Gymnasium for each mm. tournament that we pl that um, they play. Both teams, Team Wolf and Team Pack, played yeah. extremely well. Mm. I mean, they definitely have a great future, especially for next year or the next tournament or any other game that they play against. They oh, yeah. are a great competition for anyone that they go, any competitor mm. that they come up against. So. It's been a joy watching this and just to see the, their love and their heart mm. <laughs> leave it all out on the court. <laughs> yes, and team and Central narrowly beating Team Pack. We almost had a Team Wolf versus Team Pack championship. Oh, yeah, that would have been interesting. Yeah, I would have I would have liked to have seen that. Yeah. But honestly, a fantastic showing from Central. They have some really good players on their team mm -hmm. as well. But really, I th I couldn't think of a better way to end this. It was perfect. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> Bringing it, the W home to the PAC is always a good thing. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I think that's about it for us here at PAC TV. I've been Logan Ward. All right, I'm Michaela Green. And that's, us, that's it for us, signing out.